in the field. We in now. We gonna face it easy. Yeah, we in now. All right. First and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rahakadash. Double honors to the elder apostle GMS who ruled well. Salute you, brothers, that's pushing this word. And truth is sincerity, strength, probably how about you know, shot. And shalom to your brothers and sisters growing in trust and spirit, and probably how about you know, shot. Shalom to you too. And with that, we are here to prophesy the downfall of the wicked, destructive kingdom known as Babylon the Great, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Rome, Syria, all those ancient empires bought up in the one, controlled by Esau, Egypt, the great confusion on the earth. Esau, Egypt, is the biblical nationality of the so-called white man. We are the children of Israel, the biblical Israelites, the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Those are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. And we are here to gather the elect of the nation of Israel by the word and the power of Yahweh Shai. Right? And as always, prophesy the downfall of this wicked destructive kingdom. You know? And uh, as y'all see in the news, there's a lot going on. You know, I just wanted to uh, you see what's going on in a little small town in uh, Ohio, you know. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, Isaiah 24 and uh, 9. Uh, Isaiah 24 and 5, so like my fault. Y'all got to, y'all got to, excuse me, I'm a little under the weather. So, hey, that's the situation I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm under the weather right now. So y'all, excuse me, you know, but go ahead, bro. All right, this is, uh, <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 24, verse 5. It says, the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Read that from that again. This is Isaiah chapter 24, verse five. Right. The earth is also, so like the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broke, broken the everlasting covenant. So the earth is defiled, polluted. Why? Because of the people and what they believe in, contrary to the scriptures. See, the scriptures uh, tell you how to govern the earth, what's lawful and what's unlawful. And the way Esau Edom govern the earth is unlawful. That's why those chemicals that uh, was uh, uh, got spilled in that train wreck in Ohio, that's why Esau Edom will try to cover up the effects of that uh, train wreck because he he's a, he is a wicked man. That's what he do. He don't care nothing about those hazardous materials entering into the bodies of the people. Right? He don't care nothing about that. And the people are so stupid and dumbed down to where they don't even uh, have no fight. Hey, Shalom, Ma. Shalom, Ma. I don't know who the brothers is. But that's the spirit. That's the spirit that uh, Jake is waking up, man. Them dry bones is waking up, man. You know, here in Arkansas. But they need to be woke up here, man. Jake, Jake is in this dead state in Arkansas, man. You know, I've been out here on these streets 13 years, man, to see Jake. You know, uh, wake up and call on the name of Yahweh Shalom Shah, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. 
But like I said, I've been out here 13 years, man. And to see that right there, that, that's a beautiful thing, man. Right? You know, waking up to uh, the name of the Hotbox and I'm shot. So, uh, back to what I was saying uh, concerning what's going on in you know, Ohio, you know, the people so dumbed down that they don't even have no fight, man. They don't even have no fight against the government, man. They just get out the way and let Esau continue doing what he's doing. I mean, they just get out the way and let Esau, so-called white man, continue doing uh, what he do as far as polluting the earth, man. Making it defile everywhere, man. We got videos out there to where Esau can say the water is all right, and you can see the, the chemicals floating in the water, man. Right, that's, that's what they were saying. Go ahead, folks, speak up. <clears throat> that's, that's what they were saying. I seen. A, I came across a video where they were saying that the chemicals, uh, they're trying to investigate to see if it got in the river. And that river, that Ohio River, flows all the way down to that uh, back to Louisiana. And you can look at the water and see the chemicals in it. You know? You know how I got that like an oily look? And then it like, got like like an oily look and a rainbow color in the water? Right, right, right. Yeah, man. And you can see it's polluted, man. But Esau Edom will tell you everything is okay. Don't worry about it. You got everything under control. We, Our scientists told us that everything is okay, man. And that's the deception of the devil. That's why they roll, man. Meanwhile, your uh, body is getting destroyed. You know, while you live in the environment like that. You see? And they had a Netflix series that, well, they had a Netflix show, a series of Ivy, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? that showed that train wreck in that Netflix uh, series or whatever, a movie, whatever, uh, in Ohio, man, right before it happened, man. You know the series I'm talking about? I mean, let me look at it, man. Let me look at it, bro. Let me get the name of it, bro, real quick. You know what I'm saying? So Jake can see, man. I, I got it. Uh, the the net the Netflix film is called uh, White Noise. They got trailers on it concerning that train derailment. But we know the leaks is doing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? We know the leaks is doing it. You know what I'm saying? Derailing these trains and and you know uh, causing the earth to be defiled. You know, but they got a Netflix series called White, uh, let me see, called White Noise. And in that Netflix, uh, let me see here. And in that, in that, it shows you uh, that train derail, right? With the chemical, right? So Esau, Edom, I tell you what they gonna do before they do it. But Yahbashim al Shah have gave us the insight in that discernment to see Esau do it before he do it. Before he tell it to the people. Right, right. You see? So bring what you got in Isaiah 24 again, bro. All right, this is uh this is Isaiah. Chapter 24, verse 5. Because the earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. There's one way it's defiled with the chemicals and how Esau, Edom, governed the earth uh, contrary to the statute law of the commandments and he pushed the vibration of all these different religions on the earth to confuse the people so the people's minds are all warped and out of shape and 
made them GMO uh, genetically modified organisms in the food and spray chemicals all on the food and feed it to the people, man. You see? Poison the food, man, and feed it to the people and all that food and stuff carry side effects so the minds of the people are warped. They can't even think straight, man. And that's part of their weaponry to control the people, man. Control the population. In their eyes, they look at that as power. But while they doing all that, the earth is defiled and the heavens is thereof, right? And then all the bloodshed that they have done throughout the earth, man, against the people like the Native American is causing this uh, land and the earth to be defiled. Look what them Edomites doing over there. Even though they eat it, but look at the bloodshed that they got going on over there in uh, Ukraine firing those rockets on the people and the population, even though they hate us and they look it, but those weapons, after they explode, is uh, has chemicals in it, and it's going into the atmosphere, man. It is defiling the land and the, and the earth, man. No nation in history defiled the earth the way these Edomites defiled the earth, man. No nation, man. I remember they was talking about the ozone layer when we was in high school. Wonder what the ozone layer looked like now. They said it was a big old hole in it when we was in high school, right? You see, then you got all the trash that's in space that Esau, Edom, and these other nations didn't dump. So all that trash and that pollution is in space too. Look at the ocean, you know? Esau, Edom used the ocean as a dumpster, man. So Esau, Edom have polluted everything, man. Everything that he touches is polluted and defiled, man. You see? And that's why the scriptures is speaking the way it's speaking, man. Because this place is defiled, man. It need a cleansing, you know? It need a serious cleanse it, right? But y'all watching that old shot, he's gonna cleanse this place, right? He gonna do it. Okay? Go ahead, bro. It's because they had transgressed the laws. What laws? The laws of the Bible. Not the laws that Esau made up. The laws of the Bible, the Heavenly Father word, right? That's what Esau Edom have done, right? And the so-called white men they don't write the Bible for you to scatter brains out there. Okay? Go ahead. It says, change the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah. Broken it, man. The covenant is within the Bible. And within the covenant, it tells you how to govern the earth, man. Okay? It tells you how to govern the earth, man. And Esau, Edom, Threw the Bible behind him, then follow the instructions, and did what he wanted to do, and made up his own laws, and here's the earth in this predicament. Man, he just went crazy and started killing everybody. Shed blood everywhere, Mike. A real demon. You see? Go ahead, bro. Uh, that was good, man. All right, give me uh, numbers 35 and 33. This is uh this is Numbers chapter 35 verse 33. And then you got some people that's walking around here foolish about what's going on concerning uh the situation in Ohio, Mike. Not everybody know about that situation, Mike. And that's pollution, Mike. Not everybody know about that, Mike. And it's crazy, man, how this devil, you know what I'm saying, walk around the earth and, you know, with the thought process of they just innocent. 
like judgment ain't gonna come down. Man. Right. You know, they living their life like judgment ain't gonna come down on them, man. For what they doing, man. Right. It's, it's just, it's amazing to me, man. How they ain't scared not one bit, man. I'm talking about the average. At least they get nervous. They know we out here, but I'm talking about the average people, man. They just. They ain't even considering the judgment that's coming around the corner, man. On them, man. You see? Go ahead. So, <clears throat> this is Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. Go ahead. So, ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. So, the scripture says, ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. You think Esau, Edom care about that? Esau, Edom gonna pollute the land wherever he go. Wherever he go, he gonna shed blood, man. And he too big a strong woman and resources, man. By military might, man. And if it take killing you and your kids and your family, that's what he gonna do, man. To get the resources. So he all over the place. He strong woman, kill him. Shed blood, man. Go ahead. For blood, the land. So the scripture tell you, look, blood defiles the land, man. Right? That's what it does, man. You put this murder and shed blood in the fire of the land, man. Right? These stupid Edomites don't even know that, man. Right? And then they'll tell you in the same sentence, while they doing all this, they'll tell you God loves everybody. <laughs> while they murder. Right. You see? Right. And they're following the man. Right? <laughs> love, love overcomes it all. Man, you eat them while you ain't got no love. You wicked as hell. <laughs> Stay there murdering people, man. Right. And then you get it on camera for what they doing, they'll tell you uh, what you seeing on camera, it ain't it ain't what you really see. <laughs> and then they say, let's take it to the court of law, and they'll just throw the footage out. Right. Whatever murder and whatever uh, pollution, whatever corruption they have done, they just take it to court and throw all the evidence out and free everybody that was criminals amongst their people. And if Jake do some stuff like that, they get a hundred years eating powdered eggs and gray bologna, man. And washing their uh, undergarments in the toilet, man. You see? And brushing their teeth with, with rusty water. And looking at a honey bun and uh, Roman noodles, which alters your DNA as a delicacy. <laughs> hundred years, man. Football number snowed in. Edomites are the what? biggest uh, human traffickers. Yeah, they don't ever go to jail for that. Organ harvesting and all that human traffic. They don't go to jail for that, Mike. You got them devils got to go, Mike. It's defiled. The place is defiled, Mike. You know? So read that for me again, bro. <clears throat> this is Numbers chapter 35, verse uh, 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. But see, these laws were given to the Israelites, man. That's why consciously the Israelites know, but since they under the influence of the devil, they do it. They've been seduced by the wicked. But they know consciously murdering somebody is wrong, man. Right? But he saw Edom would take him back to the crime scene. Like, he, when he do it, like, and, and paint you the picture like it wasn't even him. But it was him. With no conscience. I see. There's a series that they got, uh, I don't know if it's on Netflix, it's called, uh, right. uh, Mind Hunters. Okay. Yeah, it's basically, like, back in the 60s, 50s, and they're interviewed Serial killers. Yeah, you gotta speak up, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Way up. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's on Netflix. Yeah. It's uh, 
It's a series called uh, Mind Hunters. And it's based back like in the, either like the 60s or something like that. And they're actually going into uh, prisons and actually interviewing serial, serial killers. What you think? What you think? Come here, come here. Don't take off running, come here. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Yeah, you gotta be so well, all right. All right, you gotta be so well, all right. All right, you gotta be so well, all right. You gotta be so well. All right, all right, all right. Take it easy, Mike, all right, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. You gotta be so well. All right, take it easy, you gotta be so well. Take it easy. All right, take it easy, you gotta be so well, Mike. Don't worry about it, don't even worry about it. You gotta be so well, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. See how I do it? Yeah, all messed up. Then let him get a word out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Come, come. Well, go ahead, bro. But yeah, it's a, it's a series. It's called uh, Mind Hunters. And basically, it's like a, like a FBI uh, unit that they created, like in the, I think it might have been like the 60s. Uh, and they go and they interview all these serial killers. And like the elder was saying, man, the majority of them was uh, Edomites. And how they have them uh, speak on the crime, and like the elder was saying, when they first tell it, they tell it like it wasn't them. <laughs> yeah, but they'll go into detail, but they they'll make it seem like it's not them. But they got this this FBI dude that uh that a break break their mind and, and have them com uh, confess. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you said, they'll they'll talk about it like with no conscience. Yeah, with no conscience, right? Everything. Murdering children, and all that, all every, the whole family. Man, I remember, I remember growing up. They used to have uh, the milk cartons. Yeah. To where you would have missing children on there, on the right. back of them. That's they ain't even got that no more. Right. They just snatched so many. They just stopped putting them on the milk carton, right? Right. Missing children. They used to have them on the back of uh, slave patrol vehicles too. Yeah. They just they don't even they don't even put that out no more. Yeah, I remember because Jake used to say that. Remember, maybe you know, in the back of the milk bottle. Yeah, yeah, see? 